This channel is proudly sponsored by Mal and Tal Enterprises. Please check out the links to their store and to their Patreon. They have a huge selection of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition compatible products, everything from mythological fantasy to gothic steampunk. There is even a video game inspired beast theory, so definitely check it out. And the Weird Frontiers role-playing game, a dungeon crawl classic style Weird West RPG. Please check out the links in the description and in the comment as well. Hi, welcome to this part of my guide and review featuring the solo adventuring toolkit. If you haven't seen the other parts of my guide and review, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to take a look at Abstract Mystery Quests. Abstract Mystery Quests are those that involve a great deal of clue gathering towards an ultimate purpose at the request of a benefactor. Abstract Mystery Quests can also be referred to as simply Mystery Quests. A benefactor is the quest giver, the entity most interested in seeing you successfully solving the mystery. There could also be one or more persons of interest. This can also be referred to as suspects, with varying accuracy depending on the purpose variability of the quest in question. You can determine all sorts of things when it comes to these mystery quests. For example, maybe it's a whodunit situation, maybe there is a cover-up or blackmail. You can determine your benefactor, maybe it's a tradesperson, perhaps a political official. You can also determine the mystery suspicion. Maybe it's a situation concerning murder, perhaps treason or conspiracy. You can also determine the truth. Maybe it's a darkest outcome, or maybe it is darkly justified, or perhaps it is the brightest outcome. The mystery could also morph into some other type of quest. Maybe it morphs into a slay quest, or perhaps into a chase quest. And what about the mystery suspect involvement? Maybe they are actually innocent, or maybe they are passively complicit. You can also determine the quest prototypes. Perhaps there are multiple suspects. Maybe there is a web of intrigue. You can also determine the early determination when it comes to the approach of this mystery. You can also determine the number of clues. And what about distractions, red herrings, coordinating evidence? All of that is here contained within the tables. You can also determine the number of rewards. Perhaps there are social, mechanical, or magical rewards. Or perhaps if you fail to solve the mystery, there will be magical, material, or social penalties. You can also determine the stakes. Maybe it's a matter of life or death. Or maybe it's a minor situation. You can also determine the pace. It could be that the mystery needs to be solved at breakneck speed. You can also determine how this mystery connects to various other quests, main quests, side quests, etc. And this concludes this part of the guide and review. In the next part, we are going to take a look at the mystery quest templates. Everything that you need to carry out a mystery type of adventure or scenario is contained in this section. You have this minigame sort of development when it comes to gathering clues, making sense of those clues as you discover them, and remember that you can use any tables that you wish. You don't need to use all of the materials here. You only need to use those that make logical sense with the structure of the scenario that you are playing, or perhaps a mystery that involves the entire campaign. And who knows, maybe a mystery results into other quests. That's part of the mystery. Perhaps it's a situation that you never expected to encounter during your solo sessions. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.